Okay, hello guys, what's up, and uh, welcome again to the another tutorial. Uh, I haven't one done one of these uh, in ages, so I thought I might actually give it a shot. Anyways, today we are going to be learning about raycasting, and uh, since there's something in C sharp called well, not in C sharp, but uh, there's a library we're going to be using, and it's got a class called raycast. I actually am pretty not making sense at all. Okay, anyways, we're going to be using a class called Recast. So it's not nice to name your script class two classes the same name. So if that makes any sense, we're just gonna call it temp and make sure there's no spaces because what what happens if you put spaces uh, in C sharp? The class name is not the same as the script name and it doesn't work. So make sure your class name is the same as your script name. Your script name is the one that you can see right now, temp, and your class name is in the script if you can see my cursor. Well, not. Okay, there we go. This is the class name, temp. And if you open the script, this is the class name. As you can put, see, you cannot put any spaces. If you put spaces, it's going to give us an error. So you can see that little red thing squiggly line thing whatever okay we're going to be using a void update and I don't want to put that comment there in the oops sorry I don't want to put that comment there so private is going to be a private private void yeah because you know I like to put private there even though by default it's always private and remember update repeats every frame uh, so to do ray casting first we're going to be doing physics ray casting. So, uh, first we need to create an array. So, to do ray casting, we can create rays. In fact, I should actually tell you what ray casting is before we actually begin this. I didn't think this through. So, uh, ray casting is basically uh, a line from one point to another point, but it's invisible, so you cannot see it. And you're probably wondering why would we use this? And the reason is, let me see, let's show you with two cubes, one's going to be bigger, okay, and a little thinner. Okay, now we've got two cubes here, and you're probably wondering why would we use raycasting. So pretend this is uh, your uh, player, so whenever it goes up to it, and pretend you can make this the uh, raycasting line like come out from your player to anything you know it doesn't have to like go from one point to another point it, it can it's just basically a line which can be placed anywhere and if it uh, like touches this wall and then this wall opens and it is also used for shooting because there is if uh, you're using colliders and instantiating a bullet and if it hits the bullet and stuff like that then um, I'm telling you that recasting is better because I will explain it to you because pretend this is the bullet so if your frame rate is low so this bullet is traveling and it only ran it only checks for collision each frame so if your frame rate is so uh, so slow then uh, at one fr it's going super fast remember so at one frame it's going to be here the next frame it's going to be here so it's not even going to uh, detect collision from here to here so it's just gonna go through this so it's just gonna look like it's gonna go right through this so remember that at each, at each frame it's uh, checking for collision and it's going so fast that it's here in one frame and this next frame is here so yeah uh, you might yeah so that's pretty much it so uh, with raycast uh, raycast is better basically it's superior in every way so let's raycast you can raycast even to your mouse position so that's good let's create a ray and call it ray you know with small r and make it equal to uh, you know what in fact we'll leave the ray for now sorry First, we'll let's just let's just experiment with raycast hit and create a hit. And if 
I'll explain this code later. So physics dot recast. Um, what's the difference between recast and recast all? Recast uh, stops if it hits anything, and recast all goes through the object, but it does the uh, it does like uh, give out what it hit. So there can with the recast hit uh, all there can be like multiple objects that it can hit. With recast it uh, hits one object, stops, and then is that object. Okay, so. Uh, I think if you don't get what I mean, then just leave it in the comments below, whatever, you, whatever it is. So as you can see, you can put a ray there, and if we, if I just press that, you can put origins like one position to another position. So I can do transform dot position, comma, and transform dot forward. So it's going to create a raycast from the position, and uh, from the the game object's position this script is attached to and it's uh, going to make it go forward we haven't actually set uh, how long it's going to be we're going to do that now in C sharp you would put out before you put the hit variable you created that's why we need this variable by the way and uh, then we put the distance we want so the distance is going to be let's make it a hundred shall we no, sorry and that is it now physics we're accessing the physics class and dot raycast and in fact I'm not too sure if I showed you the boolean functions and all that so I'll just explain that first so bool uh, temporary okay return true uh, string Oops. H F H equal equals to oops. So anyways. As you can see, I created a function and it's a boolean. So what I can do is go to if and I can do temporary and in the parameters there is obviously this string I need to give it. So I can give it whatever letter I want or whatever string I want. So if I give it h though, it's going to be true because if you look here, if that equals to h or maybe if I do high, yeah. If that h equals to high, then it's going to return true, which is which means this is going to be true. If it's not, then it's going to be false. So this is how the boolean thing is done. If you don't understand, again, leave it in the comments below. Because I want to get this through. So um, we're we're accessing the physics class. Remember, this is the temp class. So physics class accessing that dot raycast accessing the function of the raycast and we are giving it uh, there's actually lo lots of physics dot raycast functions but and i can actually prove it to you i'm just gonna cut this and i'm gonna paste it back in later so if i do this it actually shows me i can have that function that 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 that, that. so just go through all these um basically i can just put array so array is like one point to another point just a simple array I don't know why you want that but uh, you can have a array with a uh, distance so array with a uh, uh, raycast hit and the raycast hit actually just uh, gives out the value of or the game object the game objects collider it collided with if that makes sense so it gives you can get the game object using the raycast hit so whatever it hits is going to be hit so whatever that raycast hits is going to be hit I hope that made sense I'm not good at explaining things so there are a lot of these if you got uh, I, don't, I think this actually works with mono develop I'm not too sure though but there's uh, tons of stuff in unity's scripting manual 
reference if you go to help I haven't actually told this but if you go to help and go to scripting reference and you shall find some things so bring that here and as you can see you can search for things just type in raycast and you shall be good to go you don't actually need these tutorials it's just saying you should try and use this a lot trust me you should use this like every day if you're programming every day you should use this like whenever but you should use it a lot okay there's like no word of how many times you should use it I'm just saying in JavaScript if you're using it I don't know why you would be using JavaScript if you're watching a C sharp tutorial in JavaScript you don't write out anyways uh, but I do prefer C sharp just saying anyways uh, this if statement is only going to run if the raycast is hitting something so if the raycast is not hitting anything you can do else the recast is not hitting anything so that's it and let's say if the recast hits a uh, hit uh, dot collider dot game object so we're getting going to the hit and then uh, we're uh, getting the collider and we're telling it we want the game object okay and then dot tag that means we want the game objects tag and if you don't know if I if you don't know what tags are okay if we go to our any object we pick any object there's the tags here we can tag multiple objects like player we can like tag uh, if you're playing online Call of Duty free for all okay every t player is tagged player that way it can easily find with uh, what object is the player and the uh, uh, then uh, it can know that you're actually shooting at the player so main camera is tagged main camera I can untag it do whatever I want with it you know, untag is basically a tag you know just saying so maybe to add a tag all you do is main camera add tag and there it is or you can go to edit project settings and then tags where is that tags there you go and then you can add as many tags as you like but layers I shall explain some other time but you only get 31 layers so um, if the object is tag equal equal to which means if it equals to if it's tag equals to um, let's say if it's tag equals to let's do high oh no wait what did I write hit then it's going to print it's going to print what up with a question mark you know make things interesting so it's uh, it's uh, a re we're recasting from our position to uh, whatever you know forward and it's going to be um, it's uh, going to be a hundred in like it's only go it's only gonna go forward a hundred so so for example the blue, remember the blue thing is the z axis which is the forward so it's gonna go from if you can see my mouse from here to about he, somewhere there just a hundred that in that direction so it's going to be in the middle by the way so now let's create a game object other cube and we should create another tag as well add tag Oh, I was not expecting that. The tag was high. There we go. And we're going to go to cube and tag it high. Okay. Now let's just position it so it's exactly in a line with the thing. It doesn't need to be exactly, but you know, I like to do things. So it's looking forward to it. Anyways. Uh, let's play this if it's a hundred the distance between the camera and the object and it's right it's a the, there's a line going straight here and it's if it's touching it then it's going to print what's up okay I almost forgot what it's gonna print but let's see and no it's it's probably not the recast isn't probably touching it so it probably ends there somewhere so let's move it a little forward and we sh in fact it would be better if I do this okay and let's see if we get 
uh, that what up if you get closer I oh, forgot to add the script that's that's quite stupid okay you never saw that anyways let's try again okay what up there you go it's printed that and it's keep printing it because we keep touching it if I go far enough it should stop printing see oh wait there we go see it stopped printing clear there's no more coming so let me just make this here and the main camera is about here somewhere I can't even remember where okay there it is so the main camera is there and the cubes there so I'm gonna move the cube towards the main camera and if it gets in the range it's got, oh, there you go start printing what up what what up okay if I go back out of the range it stops as you can see but I'll clear it so you can see clearly so that is it for ray casting there's uh, other methods of ray casting and I think uh, unity people even tell you how to recast uh, using your mouse which I used for my game uh, so where is it scripting reference let me just make sure um, they do tell you about other stuff because they should recast okay physics wait that was not it plain recast it's physics recast by the way we're looking for and as you can see, if you scroll down this JavaScript, we won't, we're interested in C sharp. Oh, there we go. See, public ray, and then you can choose a camera and then input dot marks position. You can do it with arrays, and it, they even show you the out hit and hundred. Simple. And since we're on the subject of shooting, I shall show you one cool trick that most of you actually know probably I hopefully if you don't know well then you learn something new well I hope you learn something new in this tutorial <clears throat> so if I do uh, what was it uh, screen dot lock cursor equals to true that will go to the screen class okay then go to the lock, lock cursor function and then make it equal to true well, it's actually a sorry. It it won't go to the function. It will go to the variable. Log cursor is a variable, is a um a, a boolean variable. So it will make that into true. A va variable is like this. If you don't know, and you, trust me, if you don't know, then I don't know why you're watching this. So we we can make our own lock equals. To Oops, we shouldn't make a lock. Let's make a lock equals to false. We can make our own. See? So, whenever a lock cursor equals to true, it locks the cursor and hides it and puts it in the middle. So, it can't move. It can move, but it always goes back to the middle. And then, uh, if it's false, then you just have a cursor like you're seeing right now. Just like oh, your average cursor. So, it's false, nothing happens. Now, let's turn it into true and we shall see something cool as you can see that I don't have a cursor but if I press escape and by the way the the escape thing is only in the editor if I build this this will not happen so if I press escape as you can see the cursor this is only a safety feature in the editor so I think that is it I have hopefully tortured you enough with scripting and I'll see you next time